Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Mateo Lane. Every Disney character is gay. Let's see what he has to say. Actually, am gay. Um, <laughs> so, well, for clapping. Does he always start his 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 shows off like with some type of singing? Because I love that. That's such a way to like brand yourself, cement yourself, and also shamelessly plug yourself in the fact that you are multi hyphenated. Okay. Hmm. He sounded like Snow White, like calling for all the birds. Like I don't know. Is that the same note? That dolphin note? Like is that Mariah's note? <laughs> I don't know, but it was good. I loved it. I actually am gay, um, so, so. Well, for, clap if you can hear my gay voice, right? Uh, look at all these progressives. No, I just, I, no, you wanna know where I run into issues with it is because first of all, when you become a comedian, everybody around you, like your agent, your manager, they convince you that now you have to become an actor. Like you've got to audition, get in there, get in sitcoms, go be a TV star. So like I went out, I did this like audition and I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be an actor. And they always like- Off topic, he's ripped. <laughs> Off topic, his arms, he's ripped. I never thought about that. That is true, I bet that a lot of, um, Comedians are kind of pushed towards that because stand-up is just one lane, one sense source of income. But, you know, getting a sitcom, getting a TV show. Yeah, I get that. Out, I did this, like, audition, and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be an actor. And they always, like, bullet point, like, what your character description is going to be. So, you know, with my gay voice, this is very difficult. Like, this one woman was like, all right, here's your character. His name is Zach. He's 19, and he's a football player. Well, Zach's gonna have a secret to share with everyone. He's like, mm. <laughs> It's just so stupid. And also, like, I know what I look like. I'm Italian and I'm also Mexican. So, like, oh, wow. from here up, I just look like a deli worker. That's a beautiful combination. Mexican and Italian. He's a very handsome man. He said, but from here up, I look like a deli worker. No. <laughs> I love people who can poke fun at themselves. Like, I, I just, you are a special human when you can do that. So, like, from here up, I just look like a deli worker. He's like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I have what I call deli face. Like, without gay voice, I'd probably sound like, my friend, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That could be like its own musical, like Deli Man, like, come get your meat. Uh, oh, uh. it's in my grinder profile. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of grinder. I'm on it, and I know you, I know who's on it. I, I know grinder who's on is it. The Pokemon Go of the past. Grinder, yes. For, okay, first of all, let me just say this, because everybody else. For those of you that don't know, Grinder is the dating app for gays only. Okay, there you go. Grinder, yes. For, okay, first of all, let me just say this. Because everybody else was straight, they're like, well, we have our own grinder. We have Tinder. Calm down. <laughs> Tinder Calm is down. to app it compared to Grinder. Like Tinder, it shows you how far someone is by like the mile. Grinder shows you how far someone is by the foot. Which is why I think they should call it fruit by the foot. But that's just <laughs> yeah, it would be so much better. Can you imagine? That's oh, hilarious. I think about like growing up and the first gay person that I saw on television was C-3PO. Who? Am I wrong? Yes. Who? The Richard Simmons of space. C who? I don't know who this person is. What did they do? He said the Richard Pryor of space. So that gives me some context, but who? Yes. The Richard Simmons of space. I said prior. I meant Simmons. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Brit. C-3PO. And let me just say this. He got gayer in each Star Wars movie. Oh, okay. Star <laughs> Wars like, character. That's why I know nothing about it. I've never seen a Star Wars movie episode. Is it episodic? Is it a movie? Is it both? There you go. Now I've really told on myself, haven't I? 
Yes, he got gayer in each Star Wars movie. <laughs> he, like, the first movie, he was just sort of like, oh my. But then, like, <laughs> by Return of the Jedi, literally at one point, he goes, damn, Lord. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> robot's arms don't go up like that. Oh, it's a robot? And his whole thing, too, is like, I'm fluent over six million forms of communication, and you chose gay Brit. <laughs> oh, it's so, and every Disney character is gay, no question. Every single Disney character, we, Jafar. <laughs> Prince Abu Boo, okay. <laughs> yeah, you. I haven't pulled out a concealer catcher in a while. Wait a minute. <laughs> Prince Abu Boo. <laughs> Prince Abu Boo, okay. <laughs> yeah, you really want to fuck Jasmine. Got it. Uh, uh. I mean, if you wear a jewel and your best friend's a parrot, you're gay. Okay. So annoying. So annoying. I was such a gay kid. You know what I mean? I was such a gay, I mean, there was no hiding it. I mean, like, so I grew, I'm very, I'm very Italian. I grew up on the same block as my first 22 cousins. <laughs> I used to come home every single day after preschool and I would run to my uh, cousin's basement. My cousin Megan had these ruby red slippers and I loved them. I would put them on. Oh my God, he like really was showing us. He's like, I love them. <laughs> uh, cousin's basement. My cousin Megan had these ruby red slippers and I, Loved them. I would put them on. I'd walk around in it, da da da. And the, no, it never, the kids never shamed me. I mean, they just were they're picking their nose, they're shitting their pants. They don't give a shit, right? <laughs> it is always the adult who shames you. It's always the adult who pulls you aside and tells you you're different. This is wrong. You shouldn't do this. Gender roles. I mean, it's like, I remember, I still hold on to the shame. I remember the first time I was shamed. I will never, ever forget it. My uncle Mike pulled me aside and he said, Mateo, why aren't you outside playing football like all the other boys? And I looked at him and I said, well, it is very hard to catch a football while you're running in these heels. Like, <laughs> running in these heels. I wish I grew up with Mateo. Like, I wish I grew up with him. He seems like such a fun person to be around. said, well, it is very hard to catch a football while you're running in these heels. Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Oh my God. You idiot, I'm gay. <laughs> like, it just is, I mean, I had a Barbie for God's sakes. Like, and to, okay, first of all, clap if you had a Barbie growing up. Whoop, whoop. And, okay, right, now, I feel so bad for Barbie. I feel like Barbie has done everything to please us and will never be satisfied. I mean, am I wrong? They always say Barbie's bad for girls, this and that, she doesn't have ribs, whatever. So it's like, I mean, but think about it. We should, I mean, Barbara, what else can she do? She's been white. We're like, no. She was black. We're like, no. She's been Asian. We're like, no. She's been Latina. We're like, no. She was in a doctor, a scientist, an astronaut. We put her in a wheelchair at one point. Barbie's been in a wheelchair? I didn't know that. Talk about inclusivity. She was in a doctor, a scientist, an astronaut. We put her in a wheelchair at one point. She was married to Ken, a gay husband that is very progressive. And still, they made like a whole new line of Barbies. They're like, look, she's bigger. She's a real woman. And we're like, she's a whore. <laughs> they have a bigger Barbie? I've never seen those. And I have an eight-year-old. And she loves Barbies. And we frequent that aisle often. I've never seen a Barbie in a wheelchair or a plus-size Barbie. But good. All children should feel like they have dolls that represent them. Good. Look, she's bigger. She's a real woman. And we're like, she's a whore. <laughs> This doesn't work the same for boys. I mean, it's like boys play with Batman. What if, what are the, you know, Batman, the worst, worst role model in the world. He's white, privileged, and beats the shit out of people. And our response, never change. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys have been so great. I'm Mateo. Thank you very much. I am a fan of Mateo's. I think Mateo is hilarious. Like, I just want to be his friend. Forget his comedy. Like, he sound, like, brunch with him probably is a hoot. Are you kidding me? He's funny. Oh, Mateo Lane. All right. Go have the day you deserve, folks. Peace.